Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use Descript, which is a text-based audio editing software for podcasters. If you've been podcasting for any length of time and you edit your own podcast episodes, you're familiar with the typical editing workflow. You take all your audio files, bring them into your editing software, and then start going to town on your waveforms. Well, Descript takes a little bit of a different approach. Rather than giving you your waveform and then editing based on that, you get a transcript. They actually transcribe your audio file for you. And then when you need to edit out a section or you need to adjust something or move things around, you just edit the text. You just edit the transcript just like you would a Google Doc and then Descript will edit the audio underneath. So if you get two hour interviews that you need to edit down to 30 minutes, Descript's gonna speed that workflow up for you. If you have a scripted podcast where every single word counts and you wanna make sure that it's in the right place, Descript will really help you with that as well. And if you're new to podcasting and the idea of learning a software like GarageBand, Audacity, or Adobe Audition feels overwhelming to you, then Descript can be a fantastic solution. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use Descript to edit a podcast episode. And then I'm also gonna cover some really cool features that Descript has that you can't find anywhere else. So when you first open up Descript, this is what you're going to see. You're gonna see very clearly all of your current projects that you've either already worked on or are currently working on. And then on the left, you'll be able to see any that you have created. If you have team members that share them with you, you'll be able to see the ones they've shared with you and so on and so forth. Now, if you wanna get back into a project you're currently working on, all you do is click on the project you wanna edit. When you're ready to start a new project, all you have to do is click this new project button in the top right corner. But for our purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and open one that I've already started. So this is what your dashboard looks like once you jump into a project. And there are four main areas. On the left side, you have your compositions. Your compositions are essentially the segments of your podcast episode. You can have an intro composition, an interview composition, an outro composition, an ad read composition. It's just a really nice way of keeping everything organized. Next to that, you have your media library. So with your media library, that's where you're gonna upload all of your audio files. So if you already have an interview that you have recorded, you can bring that into Descript. If you have background music that you wanna use or intro music, for instance, you can bring that into your media library. And this media library is available across all your compositions. So you just bring all your audio files right here and then you have access to them. In the center is gonna be where you do most of your editing. This is the transcript, this is the script, and then the timeline, which is area number three, right down here. This is where you'll be able to see the waveform, you'll be able to see your cadence, your adjust your volume, all those kind of things down here on the timeline. The last area I want you to know about is over on the right here. So you can toggle your workspace to your liking. So if you don't ever mess with the timeline, you can just do the script, and you would click script only, and the timeline disappears. If you just want to do the timeline, you do timeline only and the script disappears. But I recommend doing script and timeline. You have all the information at your fingertips right there. Now, below that is show track inspector. The track inspector is what allows you to control each of your audio tracks. So for the entire composition, which would include the music that we already have in here, you can adjust the volume, you can adjust the left and right pan, and you can add some effects. You can add a compressor effect and an equalizer effect. But if you just wanna apply settings to one of the things, either your script, which is the spoken part of your episode, or this music that we've already imported, then you would do those controls here. But let's say that you don't have the audio already recorded and you wanna actually record some. That's what we're gonna cover next. So recording a Descript is really easy. All you do is go up to this microphone up at the top here by the timeline and click record. From there, you're gonna be able to adjust your audio input and also tell Descript if you want it to automatically transcribe as you're recording. I highly recommend you do that. Go ahead and leave this checked. And then once we start recording, you're gonna actually see it transcribe in real time. So let's go ahead and re hit record and start recording. So now I am recording in Descript. This is what it looks like. When you start recording, you'll see that it is transcribing it in real time. You'll see that the timeline likewise is also showing the waveforms down here at the bottom with the words associated with each of those waveforms. So when you look at it, you see both things. You see the audio itself and 
um, you also see the words that are being recorded. So that's it. That is how easy it is uh, to transcribe in Descript. And then whenever you're done, you just hit stop. And that's it. Now we have a transcribed and recorded audio file that we can start editing. So now let's go over some basic editing things that you're gonna need to do in Descript to really fine tune your episode. The first thing is to know that if you want to update the transcript without affecting the audio, you can do that. You just need to change one setting. Up here, there's a drop down box next to edit media. The other option is correct text. When you choose correct text, any changes you make to your transcript will only affect the transcript. It won't affect the audio at all. So let's say that we want to use an uppercase D for descript because it's a proper noun. We can do that. Uh, there was a couple other times where I said descript. Right here's another one. I can just highlight that, make it a capital D. And you can make any edits that you want to to your transcript. And then when you're ready to actually start editing it, you go back to edit media. And now all the changes that you make will be reflected in the actual audio. Now, when you're playing your audio, typically use the spacebar. That's the shortcut in most audio editing softwares. In Descript, the spacebar is actually useful for something like making spaces between words. So when you're gonna play the audio, you have to use the tab button on your keyboard. So let's say that I wanna to jump to this word right here, the beginning of this sentence. When I clicked there in the script, it jumped to that spot in the timeline as well. So again, watch this. So I'm gonna click over on Yul and it jumped to that spot in the timeline. So that's the easiest way to navigate through your audio file is just go to the specific sentence or paragraph that you wanna start listening to and click there. So we'll go back here and then when you're ready to listen to it, you hit tab on your keyboard. This is what it looks like when you start recording. You'll see that it is transcribing it in real time. And then you just hit tab again to stop it. Now, let's say that you want to move the order of your sentences. Let's say that I want to take this whole paragraph and move it to the beginning. All you do is click and drag just like you would a Word document. We're going to hit Control X to cut it. Go up here, hit Enter, and then Control V. And now, not only has it shifted the transcript, but it's fixed the audio file underneath it. Pretty awesome, right? Uh, if I want to delete something, same thing. All you have to do is highlight the section you want to delete. It will jump to that spot in your timeline so you can see what that audio looks like. And then if you want to delete it, you just hit delete and it gets rid of that portion of your audio. Now, if you delete something that you don't want to delete or you move something to the wrong place, don't worry. All of your editing in Descript is non-destructive. So all you have to do is hit Command Z if you use a Mac computer or Control Z on a Windows computer and it's right back to where it was. No harm, no foul. Now let's go ahead and add some music to our podcast. Let's say that right between these two paragraphs, I wanna add a music track. I would go over to my media library and click add new to import the music track that I want. I'm gonna choose add new file. So it's gonna bring in that audio file for you. And when you wanna add it to your episode, it's really simple, you just drag and drop, all right? So you can see this is our music file here. We're just gonna drag it over and we're gonna put it right there in between. So that's it. That's all the basic editing features that you need to do in order to make a podcast episode. Now let's jump into some mixing and mastering features that you can find in Descript. This is what you do after you have the basic structure of your episode finished. It's exactly the way that you want it. And now you just wanna make it sound better. The first thing you can do is auto level your audio tracks. So whenever you're recording in whatever environment that you're in, typically your audio isn't precisely where it needs to be. Well, Descript has a really easy way to level that for you and bring it up or down to the volume level that it needs to be at. All you have to do is right click down here on the timeline and then auto level clip. Just press that and that clip has been leveled. That's it. Isn't that awesome? Okay. The next thing you might want to do is adjust the volume of your background music. So we brought in this background music track and I already know it's going to be too loud because whenever you bring in music, it's too loud. Well, the easiest way to do this is to adjust it with volume keyframes. So if you right click on the audio track, then you can add a volume keyframe, just like how we just auto leveled the clip. When you do that, it's going to create a little white dot 
Can you see that on the screen? This little white dot. When you hover over that, you'll get these four arrows that appear. That allows you to shift that keyframe to the left and to the right on the track, and then up and down as well. So you can see the decibel level of this track is changing as I adjust my mouse. So let's say I wanna drop it down to minus 10 decibels. I just drag it to that spot and then release it, and now that music track is at minus 10 decibels. Now when it comes to your narration, the two effects that Descript has that are pretty powerful are their compressor effect and their equalizer effect. So over on the track inspector here on the right, you can see both of those. You can see it for the whole composition or just for the script. We don't wanna apply these effects to the music, we just wanna apply them to what we recorded. So we're gonna do it to the script. To add an effect, you just click on this button over here, this little magic wand, and choose whichever one you wanna start with. Let's start with the compressor effect. So it'll bring up all these different things that you can toggle. What I would recommend though, especially if you're first getting started, is use one of their presets. So if you hover over this three dots right here and click on that, there are some effect presets built right in. So if you have some gentle music that you wanna apply this preset to, like some background music, you would use the gentle music preset. If this is you talking to a microphone, choose the classic voiceover preset. It's really that simple. You choose that, it applies the right settings, and you're good to go. The other effect is the equalizer effect. So the equalizer has to do with the frequencies in your voice. There are certain frequencies that are more pleasant to listen to and others that are more distracting. And so if you don't apply the equalizer, you'll just get the raw audio out of your microphone. But if you use one of these presets, like the full range boost, it'll, it'll adjust those frequencies to make your voice sound good. So I recommend playing around with these, trying different presets, seeing which ones you like listening to, and then go with that. But if that sounds like a lot to try and figure out and you host your podcast with Buzzsprout, then I actually encourage you to check out one of our newest features, Magic Mastering. You can think of it like an Instagram filter for your audio. It takes a poor audio recording and makes it good. And it takes a good audio recording and makes it great. So if you want all the benefits of these mastering techniques without having to spend the time to do it on your own, then go ahead and check out Magic Mastering and see what a difference it'll make for your podcast. Now let's jump into some features that are really unique to Descript. The first one is automatically removing filler words. So you may have noticed that there were some ums in this transcript as we were recording. Well, rather than manually selecting, highlighting, and deleting each and every single one of them, Descript can do it for you. All you do is highlight a selection that has a filler word in it. When you right click on it, you'll have a couple different options. You can either ignore it, which means that it'll skip over that part of the audio when you play it back, you can delete it entirely, or here's the best part, you can ignore or delete all of the filler words in this entire composition. All right, watch what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all, and you'll see all the filler words get removed automatically. Boom, that's it. That's all you have to do to delete filler words from your episode. Now the next feature I wanna talk about is still in beta, but it is super powerful, and that is overdub. If you read a 10 minute transcript for the script, they're able to create a profile of your voice. Then if you want to correct something in your audio recording, you don't have to go back and re-record it. You just type it on the screen and Descript creates what would have been your audio recording. So if I type in my dog never stops barking into Descript, it will take my voice and Make me say those things, even though I've never said them. So if you want to experiment with overdub, all you have to do is write into the Descript support team and they'll get you hooked up. But this is a feature that's coming out to all Descript users in the near future. And it really is a phenomenal feature for podcasters. Now, the last unique feature I wanna cover is unique to Descript because of the transcript element. So typically when you're in GarageBand or Audacity, you get your audio file, that's it. Well, with Descript, you can actually export your transcript. So all you have to do once your episode is done and ready to go is just go up to File, Export, and then from here you just choose Text. And then you can choose to include timestamps, you can add the paragraph breaks, you can choose the formats that you export in, and then when you're done you just hit Export and it saved the transcript right to your computer. At Buzzsprout we're huge believers in transcripts, not just for the SEO, search engine optimization benefits, but also just the accessibility, that there are gonna be some people that either don't have the time 
or are not capable of listening to your podcast episodes, providing a transcript makes your content available to them as well. So if you've been thinking about generating transcripts and offering those to your listeners as a resource, Descript makes it super easy. Now, once you've finished your project, there are two ways to export your file. The first way is just the traditional way that you're used to exporting from an audio editing software. All you would do is go up to File, Export, and then you would choose Audio. From here, you can choose if you're going to export the current composition or all compositions. So if you have your episode broken down into different segments, like your intro and then your interview and then an ad read and then your outro, you can export all of those together as one file or just the current composition. You can choose the format that you want to export in. WAV is a go-to. Can't really go wrong with a WAV file. And then you can also adjust your audio level. And then when you're done, you just hit export and that will save the finished podcast episode to your computer. But if you host your podcast through Buzzsprout, there's actually a faster way to export because if you export the traditional way, you still have to go through the process of manually uploading it to your podcast host. With Buzzsprout, you just go to publish all audio and then hit publish. Descript will render your audio file and then make it available to push into a couple different places. Notice what one of those is, Buzzsprout, that's right. So all you would do is click on the little sprouts, it'll open up an internet browser, and then all you have to do is hit import episode and it will bring it directly into your Buzzsprout account. You can add your show notes, you can add chapter markers, everything else you need to do for your episode and then schedule it to be released whenever you're ready. The cool thing about this though, is when you publish from Descript into Buzzsprout, it brings your transcript with it automatically. So not only are you pushing your audio episode in, but you're also getting your transcript at the same time. Pretty cool, right? So if you're using Descript, you don't even have to think about the transcript part of it. Just publish into Buzzsprout and we'll take care of it for you. Now, as far as pricing and packages go, Descript has a very generous free plan for if you're just getting started and you want to test it out and see if it's something you want to use. But we recommend most podcasters go with the producer plan. That will give you as much transcription as you need, be able to edit as many episodes as you need to, and never worry about running out of time. If, however, you collaborate with multiple people, maybe you have an outside editor or co-host that works on those episodes with you, go ahead and jump up to the team package because that will allow you to have multiple logins, multiple people accessing the same files. Now, if Descript wasn't already an amazing audio editing software, it also edits video files. So if you record your interview over Zoom and you have that video asset there for you that you wanna to upload to a YouTube channel to help grow your audience, you can edit that video in Descript the same way that we just edited the audio. Try Descript for free, test it for yourself, see if it's gonna be better than what you're currently using. And even if there are certain features that you don't wanna lose in your pro level audio editing software, you can do both. You can bring your episode into Descript, chop it up, get the basic episode structure done in place, get the transcript, and then bring it over to your other audio editing software to finish it up. Well, that about wraps it up for this tutorial. If you are new here and you have not yet subscribed to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel, make sure that you do because every single week we're putting out new gear review videos, podcast strategy videos, and software tutorials like this one to help you on your podcasting journey. Thanks for watching. And until next time, Keep podcasting.